Hi everybody, welcome back to Bring Life Indoors. It's Moira here. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a beautiful day out here, bright and sunny. I hope you're having a lovely day. Today was Jonathan's first day at school. I dropped him off this morning. Ooh, he was so excited. He was so excited. We've been doing online schooling for a long time, for a while. Uh, but schools are open now. They're back to school. Today was his first day. He's been looking forward to this day forever. <laughs> he misses school. He does. He misses being with his friends and everything everything about school. He misses school. So, yeah, um, he was very excited. It was a joy to drop him off and all smiles, no tears. He didn't even look back. <laughs> Yeah, coming to think of it, he didn't look back. He just, I gave him a kiss and a hug and there he went, you know. So yeah, um, I'm picking him up this afternoon. Looking forward to hear how it went, but I'm sure it's going to go super well. Um, But yeah, that was my morning. So yeah, as for today, um, well, before I go ahead with today's video, I firstly want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for liking my videos, your comments. Your comments means a lot. Uh, it, 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 it's always a joy to go and sit and read and hear what your thoughts are and um, based on what I, I uploaded <laughs> and what you think or, you know, even advices. I mean, I'm open for advice. I'm open for suggestions. I'm open for criticism. I mean, that's how we grow, isn't it? So thank you so much for your comments. And um, yeah, and like I say, thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot. Remember to click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new uploads. And yeah, so let's go ahead with today's video. Today I thought I'll do a video on the best plants you can give as gifts. You might be out there feeling you want to give a plant as a gift to someone, but you don't quite know what plant to go for because you're looking for something which they will be able to enjoy for a long time and they will know how to care for it. So you can only enjoy something like a plant. You can only enjoy it for a long period of time if you know how to look after it. And, um, so you are obviously looking for something easy to care for and something with low maintenance, not high maintenance. Um, yeah, so I thought I would just show you the plants which I think um, that are best to give as gifts. And believe me, even if you're giving it to someone who might not be knowledgeable when it comes to plants, um, they will be able to enjoy that plant for a long period of time as long as you give them tips as to what to do with that plant. So I'm just going to take, um, um, I'm just going to take you around, not necessarily take you around. I'm just going to show you the plants, uh, which I think are the best to give as gifts. And we'll take, we'll take it from there. Alrighty. I'm going to start with this syngonium. This is a uh, arrowhead plant. These are easy, very easy to care for plants. Uh, that, that they have trust me they're very easy they don't have any issues uh, my experience with them is they're very easy very easy um, syngoniums otherwise known as arrowhead plants they come in different shades um, yeah I think they make a beautiful beautiful gift uh, apart from the fact that they look absolutely stunning they are also easy to care for. I let mine dry out in between watering um, and I give it a drink when it needs a drink. That's it. Nothing more. And I, I fertilize them um, every second week um, in, in the growing season. Your, your spring, uh, summer, and, um, and most of the time with my plants, as long and as long as I see this new this this new growth coming up, I fertilize, you know. So yeah, so it's very easy to care for, absolutely easy to care for. So this is one of them, uh, syngoniums, or otherwise known as arrowhead plant. And my next one would be <laughs> golden pothos. This is absolutely easy to look after. 
trust me is super easy to look after and i think it makes a beautiful beautiful gift um you know so this is one of the plants i would suggest if you're looking for a plant to give to someone as a gift this would be one of them um it's easy i let it dry out completely i let it like now the it, it it tells you when it needs to be watered it goes droopy as you can see it's droopy now it's i mean to, i need to give it water um yeah absolutely easy to care for no fuss <laughs> no fuss so you let it dry out in between watering and trust me it will grow beautiful for you you're not gonna deal with it have any issues as long as you let it dry out in between waterings so yeah and as as to fertilizing i do the same with the one i just showed you syngonia i fertilize them every second week and that's it. So yeah, when I'm done with this video, I'm definitely gonna give this baba a drink. So it's, this is one of them, a golden pothos. And here's another beautiful, beautiful plant to give as a gift. It's absolutely beautiful, peace lily. I love peace lily, it's one of my favorite. Believe me, it's also very easy to care for. It's flowering as we speak. Yes, I need to cut. I need to cut off all these dead flowers. Usually, I just let them all dry up, and then I can pull them off. Um, yeah, so it's very easy to care for. Even this one, I let it dry in between. What I love about peace lily is, like I showed you with um, with uh, golden pothos, it goes droopy when it's dry, when it needs a drink. This one does the same. It does. If you forget to water it, it will tell you, hey, you forgot about me. You'll find it all droopy. But the joy about it is it bounces back. Once you give it a drink, it bounces back. So, um, yeah, it's very easy. I've given this to many people. I've given this to my mom. I've given this to friends. And believe me, to this day, they're still enjoying these plants in their homes. They're super easy to care for and it will continue to surprise you with these beautiful, beautiful white flowers. And the next one is Anthurium. I love Anthuriums. They're absolutely easy. I find them very easy to care for. No fast plants. Trust me, I let the soil also dry out in between watering. If you can get that right, your watering right, trust me. You're going to have these plants in your home for a long time. You're going to enjoy these plants for a very long time. And so, yeah, I let the soil dry out completely in between waterings. And then I give it water. And look how beautiful it has grown so much. It continues to give me new growth. And there's another. It's amazing how they come in a bit red-ish looking. Um and then they go off to be green when they mature the leaves yeah anthurium is one of them Alrighty, this one is too heavy for me to carry so i had to come to where it is this is monstera deliciosa this is one of the other plants which is absolutely stunning to give as a gift i love it i recently cut it uh to propagate it um so yeah it's it's beautiful it's one of the most beautiful i i don't know i love it i love how wild it grows <laughs> i love it now if you're gonna give someone this uh as a gift just warn them that they do grow huge they do grow big they tend to be a bit on the wild side <laughs> just warn them um but they're easy to take they're easy to take care of um they i let mine dry out in between watering you know, as you can see, I'm getting new growth right there. So I did cut it recently. If it, I'm just going to try and show you. I did cut it recently. I cut there and also here and where else? And also here. Yeah, it was, it was massive. I just wanted to cut it and propagate it. And uh, it's sitting in water as we speak. But yeah, Monstera Deliciosa is one of the plants you can give as a gift. So I just wanted to do a few. Like I say, there's a whole lot out there. But I just wanted to do a few of them. All 
Alrighty, that's all I had for us for today. I thought I'll just show you a few plants, just few, few plants which you can actually give as gifts um, to someone out there, which uh, they will be able to enjoy for a long period of time. And remember, never give someone a gift as a plant and not give them tips on how to look after it. It's important. It's important. Even if you have to write it in a little card, which you are giving a the plant with that's what i do i i make it it's just little notes um on how to take care of that plant and believe me they will be able to enjoy that plant for a long period of time now the plants i showed you they are easy to care for um they are low maintenance and trust me even if you're giving it to someone who doesn't know much about plants as long as you've given them tips concerning that plant they'll be able to keep it alive and enjoy it for a long time so that's it from me for today and like i said those are just few there's a whole lot of other plants out there you can give as, as gifts i just did a few today um otherwise i didn't want this video to be long um so yeah have yourself a beautiful day uh, it's been fun until next time bye